Hi, just wanted to show that I managed to get the lid off and I've unscrewed a tiny little screw here to remove that section here so that I can clean it inside. It's absolutely filthy as you can see. So it was really good getting the lid off and all I did was, um, it's a shame I couldn't do it with the camera because it was too tricky, but you just, uh, I just used a little screwdriver here just to gently pry the hinges where the um, uh, the lid fits onto. One, this side on this side has a spring uh, attached to it, you can see there. Um, and so I used the opposite side and just levered this little section here and the lid popped out. So I did want to show that because I found it quite tricky. I couldn't find anywhere online um, that I'd actually taken it off. And when I reassemble it, I'll do another video in reverse to explain how I popped it out. Um, as you said, as I said, this side comes with a spring on it, so it's going to be fun and games looking at how I relocate that. So, uh, but I'm glad I got it off because it's it really gives you good access to clean it now. Look how mucky that is, and uh, ooh, ugh, that's filthy inside there. So you know me, I do like to clean things, and so yeah, I just thought I'd show you that. Again, thanks for your patience. Hope it helps. Well, wow, that was totally worth doing, taking that apart and cleaning it. I used um, a little paintbrush like this, a little stiff brush, tweezers, some of the liquid uh, alcohol again, just to uh, clean up the various heads and bits and pieces. Oh my God, it was so good. And the best thing I used, the Staubfresser. This, this was brilliant. It was blasting huge clumps of dust that had accumulated inside the, the mechanism in here. Well, it really was worth doing it. Um, it's so much better now. I couldn't stand seeing all the dust and dirt on it. It's a little bit fluffy in some places, but it is 100% better. And I managed to clean the heads and the, the wheel and um, everything in there. Got to be careful with that ribbon. A little bit it's got a blast there's little residue bits of fluffiness off the brush i think there but yeah that was a brilliant job doing that i'm really pleased that i took that part and i'm going to reassemble it now and hopefully can get it all back together i kept all the tiny little spring and the screw that holds that one section on so again i just wanted to show you uh it's definitely worth and uh, having a go taking it apart and it's not too difficult so i'll pause it there again Hi everyone, I've managed to um, put the lid back on and you can see it works up there, it works here fine at the moment, pops up, pops back down again, but I really made it difficult for myself with that tiny little spring and I did some research online and can see that actually in the past other people have had problems when they, the spring has popped out and they haven't been able to put it back on their door, so I thought this was a perfect opportunity to explain how I got the spring back on. Because I again trial and error, I had to really think about it, um, and it's it's a fiddly awkward thing. I sh what I should have done before I took it off is really take a quick photograph of how it um, fitted. But it's quite awkward to see, so let's see if I can explain it to you. So um, I've got a head sort of light on torch thing, and I hope that helps a little bit. If not, I've got a hand torch. When I took the lid off originally, what I did was I popped open. Um, in this corner here, oops, let's see if I can fit in focus a little bit. There's a little nub there, plastic nub that locks in place, and you just leave that over with the screwdriver, and you can, and the little hinge at the bottom corner comes away. And once you take that off, it loosens it up enough that on the opposite side, you can again just lever uh, the, this little nub in the corner away. Um, and that releases it. This bit, this arm here is a bit tricky because it's locked in place and you have to kind of gently push it slightly to get it out. Um, but I saw the spring in there, I knew the spring was in there and I thought, ah, oh, well, when it pops out, it'll be easy enough to put it back in. But no, it was really quite tricky. And I just want to explain to you what I did. Um, I mean, first of all, I had to really study the spring and look at the tension on it and work out which bit locks into this side and if you look really carefully, if you've got a Sony Walkman like this, um, you can't see it on this side. It might be easier if I close it up that way. Yeah, look. 
if you can see carefully um, the spring down there right just where my finger is there I'll just light it up again it has a little kink in it so that it locks it in place I don't know if you can see that and then the spring comes around and it looks like that and this area here that I'm pointing with my finger this little square hole just there so if you can see it that's where the end of the spring goes in it's got a kind of 90 degree angle and it's absolutely impossible to put that in there if you connect it with the lid together which is what I did I put the lid back on and thought I could retrofit the spring and it was absolutely impossible to do so what you have to do is you have to take the, the hinges off again as I said before and while it's all kind of loose this one you have to put the spring in at a funny angle if I can ignore that thing's in the way let's get rid of that now I'll try and do it with my head cam thing so you have to kind of put um, can you see that gosh that light is terrible here let's yeah maybe you can just about work it out because you have to maneuver that that section in at quite an angle you put it in first and while everything's loose on the case you stand the, the spring that's got the right hang, angle part of it at the bottom, sort of upright, vertical, into the slot where it goes. Then you gently ease the two hinges back on and watch out for this arm here when you push it back in because you have to kind of gently press it to get it in. And then when you close it gently, it should snap shut. So what happens is, and this is really difficult, I'll put that light back on, um, you'll feel some tension when you put when you close it the 90 degree angle element of the spring is locked in that section there and this bit here is locked in place on the side arm can you see that so i'm really laboring on this point for anyone who has had a similar problem they've got the spring but they can't get it back in you need to take the lid off fit the spring gently and loosely in position and then put the lid back on. So I kind of hope that that helps out anybody who's in that similar position where the spring has come out of their Walkman uh, on the cassette lid. Let's pop that all back together. That really does snap on well. Put the batteries back in and I just want to show you that everything is still functional now with my elastic band for a a dummy belt on this Walkman WM57 I think it's called W is it WMAF57 um, it's all back in place thank goodness for various screwdrivers um, head torches and things and look you can see there oops maybe you can't see oh it would help if I put a tape in there let's put that tape cassette tape back in where is it open there you can see it there and I'll just press play or so what I'm really happy is I've uh, opened it up tested it cleaned it thoroughly inside as much as I can I didn't get under that PCB board but really with that um, air I was managed to blow quite a lot of, of the muck and dirt out of it so I think we're going to go ahead and try and order or find the correct belt for this Walkman. And with a bit of luck, it might work properly one day and play some music. So I promise you that's the last update on this video now. I hope it helps anyone who's got a similar Walkman and you want to have a go at trying to fix it. I've enjoyed tinkering about with it. I know nothing about Walkmans. I know nothing about this type of uh, electronic gear. Um, but it was fun learning and again uh, satisfied my curiosity of how these things work and uh, you know if you've got an old one don't throw it away open it up and see if you can fix it okay that's the end of this little video for sure I'm not coming back to you now okay thanks for your patience again bye bye